putting on the, some of my image transfers onto some of my pots that have already been glazed, fire, cone time. This was a fishing boat cruising past a sunset. Was on a uh, sunset cruise with our good pals at Swell Colors, Mary Tantillo. And while I was on the ship for the cruise, I took a picture of this one fishing vessel that was cruising right through the sunset. It was pretty cool. And so, uh, the picture came out fantastic. I didn't even plan on it, it just kind of happened. It was like one of those, you couldn't try to do it if you wanted to. I was just taking a picture of the sunset and that ship just came right, right through the picture frame. So anyway, I'm using that for my photo image transfer. And um, so I'm just trying to line it up. And you gotta use hot water when you put these things in. And then I use a good old red rib. Make sure all the air is out. So I just basically hold on tight. You can see it there. So I make sure I hold it with my thumb on one end and then drag it across slowly, carefully, not to rip it. These things can tear if you're not careful. I can make little slight adjustments. Now the thing is we have to sit and wait 24 hours before they even get fired. I think a lot of people don't understand that everything takes time. So it's already been bisque fired and it's a white stoneware. It's been bisque fired and then we apply the underglazes, apply the cone 10 glazes, brushed and dipped. And then we fire it in the gas kiln, reduction, and it comes out and we put these on and um, I'm going to do a channel marker which are always out in the bay and I like to do them I like to do them in threes so usually my work has uh, at least minimum three images Line it up just right. Make sure all those air bowls are out. Now with the underglazes underneath, they're gonna kind of bleed through a lot of the um, photo transfers. So you'll see some of the colors popping through. And it's just it's the nature of the material, you know, there's not all, I guess you, you know, if you wanted to go so far as to try to mask out an area that's like a, a gessoed canvas where it's all white. So you get this, the full colors, I get, you know, obviously that's something you can do. Um, to me, it, it's not a, an important thing for me in my work. And then, the last thing I'm going to put on is one of my seagulls. And so this one is backwards. I'm going to make sure I do it the other way around. 
if it's a little, you can see it's a little glossier. That's the side that's supposed to go against the pot. So you want the more matted side facing out. Once again, line it up. And I do it with my fingers first. And make sure you hold it down tight. And you squeegee the water. Make sure all the air bubbles are out. I tend to notice that with the um, the darker the decal. Actually, I think it's a little too close. A little too close there. I kind of want to move it away. Move it a little further away. Right there. And then that's it. So it'll go in the kiln, fire. And then that'll come out. These will be glossy, they're flux coated. And then what you're gonna see is when they're done, they'll have a nice little gloss to them. And they're permanent, they stay on there, they'll never come off. All right, and then uh, so let me take it to the kiln. So we have our kiln room here. And that's our, that's our Hurley, which is our big, gas kiln and then in there you can see we got pieces ready to go i'm probably twisting that camera a little too far so that there for now sometimes when i move it to the kiln i accidentally touch it and the decal slides a little bit so i want to make sure that i double check it before i put it in Make sure it's straight or the direction I want it. All right. Look for images on uh, our old Instagram account. All right. At uh, 19thstreet.potter. Take care.